Hi, I'm John Deegan from Blackbox. I'd like to demonstrate how fast failover in our hardened managed Ethernet switches work by using Alpha Ring to provide redundancy and a failover time of less than 30 milliseconds. In fact, you'll see how it actually appears instantaneous. Alpha Ring is similar to other failover protocols, such as STP, spanning tree protocol, and RSTP, rabbit spanning tree protocol. Advantages to using Alpha Ring over STP or RSTP is the faster failover times, Alpha Ring is easier to set up with auto path configurations, there's less cabling to buy and run in larger configurations, and it does not decrease bandwidth by using test packets to find the link state. First, to set up the Alpha Ring consisting of three managed hardened switches, it is as simple as going to your favorite web browser and connecting to the graphical interface on the switch by entering the IP address of the switch. Once in the graphical interface, select STP-Ring and the Ring settings. Enable the Ring state and set your Ring ports. Then you connect your cables between the Ring ports and your Ring is ready to go. Keep in mind for this demonstration we'll be using multi-mode fiber, but in your own Ring you can use a mix between CAD-X or multi-mode, or all CAD-X. So what we have connected up to this Ring is the Media Center transmitter that has HDMI coming in from a computer source being converted to the IP and coming in on this white CAD-X cable. We then have the three switches hooked up in a ring configuration. We have the red cable that is being transmitted from port 9 on this PoE switch to this non-PoE switch on port 7. We then have this non-PoE switch hooked up via port 8 to port 5 on the PoE switch on the end via the white cord. The ring is then completed from port 6 on the PoE switch on the left side to the port 10 of the PoE switch on the right side with the purple cable. We then have the media center receiver hooked up to this screen with the blue CADX cable. So as we can see in the front of the switch, port 10 is receiving all the multicast data, the purple fiber connection. So when we pull this purple fiber connection, we shouldn't see a drop in the video. And we don't. And if we look back at this switch, we now see that the red multi-mode fiber cable on port 9 is receiving all the multicast information. Just to prove to you that we are transmitting video over the switch, I'm going to pull the red cable and we'll see a drop in the video. And we do see a drop. So, with that being said, we will now get ready and set up for a simulated fiber cut. To show the fiber cut, we have a pair of our cutters here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this red cable. And we shouldn't see a drop in the video. And this would simulate if a construction crew got into your long range fiber and you know didn't read that you had buried fiber somewhere. And uh, this could cause a real problem if you didn't have the alpha ring set up. So let's see how this works out for us. As we cut the cable, you can see the cable is completely cut and we didn't lose any video. So, this took me about maybe 15 to 10 minutes to set up, so it's a very easy setup, a lot easier than your RSTP or STP, and you would have a redundant industrial network. To learn more, you can go to blackbox.com, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed.